Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. Coffee Break is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. I'm not a Bible answer man, but if you send me your Bible questions, I will tell you what I think and what I believe the Bible teaches. I have been studying the Word of God for almost 40 years now and teaching it verse by verse, and you can study with me three complete series going through the Bible at thebibleversebyverse.com. Just bring your Bible, that's all you need, and click and listen to my audio Bible messages through the Bible, one verse at a time, at thebibleversebyverse.com. But this is question and answer time, and we have a question from a listener, a man who writes, in 1 Peter 3.19, is that saying that when Jesus died, he ministered to the souls that were in the torment part of of Hades. And what he is referring to there is uh, the place where people went to after they died before Jesus died on the cross. They went to the place called Hades or hell. In those days, Hades or hell had two compartments. There was paradise where all the faithful, God-fearing people went from Abraham to to uh, um, Abel, to uh, every other, you know, Elijah, Moses, they all went to the paradise side of Hades. The other side was the torment side. It was a hell. It was a lake of fire. And uh, the wicked are still there, by the way. They will be raised, hell will be raised on the last day, and those people in the tormented side of Hades will be transferred to the eternal lake of fire. But that's what this questioner is referring to, that place that had two compartments. And again, his question was, is that saying when Jesus died, he ministered to the souls that were in the torment part of Hades? Well, let's read 1 Peter three nineteen. It says, well, let's read 18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Now verse 19, by whom also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. After Jesus died on the cross, he went and he preached to some spirits that were in prison. Now, were they the souls in the tormented part of Hades? Well, certainly he was talking to the wicked who were suffering. I would not say that he was ministering to them. He was talking to them. And I'm not sure they were in that tormenting side of Hades, though. We know he was speaking to the wicked because it says that they were in prison. They were spirits who were in prison. And also verse 20 elaborates, telling us that they were the disobedient in the days of Noah, which shed some important light on this section of Scripture and may suggest that they were the Nephilim that had corrupted the human race in the days before Noah. Remember the offspring of fallen angels and human women? And the whole human race was corrupted, except for Noah and his family. And so verse 20 may suggest that they were the Nephilim, and or maybe, more likely, the fallen angels who were imprisoned for having that, those relationships with those human women, since the Bible says that those fallen angels were imprisoned for that wicked thing that they did. In Jude 1.6, speaking of those fallen angels, it says, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains, under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. So they're in prison. Jesus went and spoke to spirits that were in prison, and they were around before the days of, before the, the flood in Noah's day. Um, so again, my best answer would be they were the Nephilim or the fallen angels who cohabitated with the human women, or maybe both. I hope that helps. If you have any Bible questions, please send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com, scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.